Hello, this is Aaron from AaronOnAutos.com. Uh, today we're doing a shaky cam interior review of a 2015 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. Uh, this is the, I guess, extreme off-road package for this truck. Um, it is the easily the most off-road capable Toyota um, pickup truck that I've ever been in. Um, a far cry from the uh, 1990 SR5 uh, Sport 4x4 that I had uh, back in the day. This is a, a much more, um, uh, well, it just has a lot more technology for getting around off the road. Um, I've experimented with it and played with it a lot this week, and I can say that uh, from hauling furniture to uh, climbing a hill and watching, uh, if you're, oh, I stopped a couple of times and uh, I, I just, just to look and see what it was doing and there is a lot of reach for these tires um, yeah there's there's a lot of articulation so anyway we're talking about the interior um, if you've seen uh, any of our uh, Tacoma uh, reviews in the past then you'll be familiar with most of this uh, you have the window and uh, mirrors and so forth here and you have a few buttons here um, I'll go over them uh, those are your fog lamps of course this has a rear differential lock uh, so if you get stuck, you can force the rear wheels to turn at the same rate. Um, if you've ever driven in mud or on the beach or anything like that, uh, you will know why that is really awesome. Uh, there is a big warning that goes with it, though. You don't want to use it over about 5 miles an hour, so it is really only for slow crawling. Um, otherwise, you can blow out that differential awful, awful quick. Over here you have uh, the uh, button that turns on and off the outlet. There is a, um, there's a three-prong uh, 120 volt outlet in the back of the bed. Uh, very useful place to have it. And you can turn it on and off here. Um, so if you don't want it on uh, or if you're parking uh, for a long time or something and you want to make sure nobody can use it, although once the truck is off it kind of shuts off on its own. Um, you know, there's there's just a few reasons you might want to be able to turn that on and off. Down here you have your mirrors. Here you have your uh, your uh, traction control, hill descent there, and uh, RSCA. That's um, actually I have to look that up. So you'll read about it down here because I cannot remember what that stands for. <laughs> All right, up here uh, here's your dimmer for the instrument cluster, which looks like this. I'll have to hold the camera back because these are very deep bezels. Um, so if I get too close, it ends up looking like that, and it's all, all kind of skewed. Over here, tachometer. Over here, speedometer. Over here, uh, engine info. So here you have your gearing. Here you have your uh, engine heat. Down there's the fuel. And you have a few lights that come on here and there. Um, so you can see right now the uh, four-wheel drive is on. I have it in four high. Um, I am kind of in the middle of nowhere. Um, see? Trees and stuff. I had to climb to get up here. Um... And uh, that's about it, actually. Here's your uh, trip and odometer right there. Going down, you'll see over here we have lighting controls. Over here, washer wipers. Um, all of it is pretty straightforward. Uh, right here, you have these controls, um, which run that. And you have these for your phone. Uh, telematics for you uh, complicated types. Here's your cruise control, uh, the usual Toyota dongle. Here you have volume controls for that radio up there, and here you can uh, uh, either put your phone on hold if that's what you're doing, or you can mute, uh, which is largely the same thing, except you can also mute the radio here. So if you just hold this down, it mutes it. Over here, we have an actual key. See that? Uh, here's your four-wheel drive controls. Um, simple twist. Uh, High two is where you're normally going to be. That's rear wheel drive. Here's uh, I'm in four high, and then you can push it and turn it and be in four low. Um, this truck, as it is with this uh, TRD Pro package, you will rarely need four low. Uh, you will need it when you are really, really, really climbing something, or if you're going into the into fairly deep mud. Um, if the mud's more than two or three inches deep, you may need four low, but most of the time, you're probably never going to use it. Uh, I used it one time uh, on a hill uh, going up, and that was because I was crawling up in low gear, uh, and it was mostly to try that out. It had nothing to do with anything else. Um, 
most of the time I really doubt you're going to need four low for much. But it's there and it's very good. Over here we have um, uh, your infotainment stuff. Um, this is the uh, Grace Note system. Um, it's pretty good. It's basically, in most respects, Toyota's Entune. There are some differences, uh, but they're very small. Mostly, you'll see them when you run the nav. Uh, the navigation on this is much more simplistic than in other Toyota vehicles. Um, I really, really know. I, I very much suspect, and I will find out uh, later this week when I drive it, the 2016 uh, Tacoma will have a much different infotainment interface. What I've seen of it, it's very different than this. Um, so you have your usual, uh, here's your, so you can go to uh, the audio screen so you can just see what's on the audio. This is for all the apps, uh, there are not that many. This does have Entune enabled, but it's fairly limited uh, compared to a lot of other Toyota vehicles I've been in. Uh, here's the home screen, which is what you're looking at right now. Uh, over here, actually, no, you're not. Here's the home screen. There you go. Um, I disconnected my phone to record here. Over here, you see uh, there's your telephone and a few other things. It's pretty easy to use. Uh, the screen does take a little bit of force to get the touch stuff to work, um, but for the most part, it's pretty all right. Um, I think for the type of people that's going to use this, uh, that are going to use this, I think this has pretty much everything you're gonna want. Um, I don't think you're gonna want much more than what's already there. I'll move this water bottle a little. You'll see here's your uh, your climate controls. They're pretty basic in this truck, um, but you don't need a whole lot more than what's there. Down here are uh, some extras. So you, here you have your A-Track and your uh, USB and so forth. And that's the security receiver. Over there you have a couple of 12 volt plugs. You have these uh, for your uh, drinks, and then if you drink super big gulps, you can pop it out, and there you go, you have space to put it. Um, I've been setting my phone right here. It's a pretty good spot for it. This is uh, the shifter. It's no different than in the standard Tacoma, except for the TRD bit up there, um, and pretty straightforward, nothing uh, really special. I did have to get used to going into drive and not four. Um, I, when I first got this truck, I was driving it, I shifted it into fourth, and then I was wondering why it was so sluggish on the highway, and that's because I was losing that highway gear. Um, and the rest of it's pretty, uh, pretty obvious. So I like this system, it's pretty nice, and then over here you have another drink holder, which I'm currently using to hold a camera. Um, this is a Starbucks size. Here you have your center console, it's fairly deep, there's a pretty good amount of stuff you can get in here. Um, but I'll, you'll note there are no plugs in here, so you can't plug anything in. But this is a good spot to toss uh, odds and ends, uh, maybe maybe a garbage bag, and if you pull one of those out, throw it right in there, it's good to go. The back seat, here's these uh, drink holders for the back seat. This is not the crew cab, um, and it's pretty spacious. I was really, really uh, surprised at how spacious this is for not being the full crew cab option. So, uh, just FYI, these are... These are mostly adult friendly, they're a little bit cramped, um, but they're perfect for uh, for kids and teenagers. Uh, and then you can go up from there and you can see I've had kids in there because it's kind of messy. Uh, the trim is pretty basic, a lot of hard plastic in here. Um, again, that all will change next year, but uh, for 2015 this is what it looks like. I really like these seats, I love this cloth exceedingly stain resistant very easy to clean and because I have uh, I have gotten them all dirty very easy to clean um, wipes right off most things will just wipe right off and uh, um, non-slip so when you sit on this you will not move around much very awesome uh, if you're in a truck like this that bounces off-road a lot up here you have the usual you have uh, uh, reading driving glasses here and sunglasses here I better take mine out so I don't forget them um, here you have, uh, your simple lighting, you have, uh, you know, a few extras in here, there's no sunroof in this option, um, very nicely done, I like the interior of this truck, it is very dated, um, this is showing the 11 or 12 years it's been since, uh, this truck has had a major update, once again, that changes for 2016, but, uh, for the money, um, you spend about $40,000, a little bit less than that for this truck, as it is delivered uh, in the TRD Pro package, and 
Uh, for what you're getting, well worth that price tag. Uh, you get a lot of great stuff in this truck for that money. Um, again, extremely off-road capable. Um, this is this is the only pickup truck I've been in in this class that is more off-road capable than the Nissan Frontier Pro 4X, uh, which has been my benchmark for off-road capability in a pickup truck. So, very well done. Um, so, that's it. I, I don't know if there's anything else for me to cover, so I'm going to call it good. This has been Aaron from AaronOnAutos.com in the 2015 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. Talk to you again soon.